unicorn in a bucket? Wow, hey. Yeah. You're gonna go up on the track? I kinda wanna have some real talk with you. It's all fun and games out here playing at Hemlock Hills, living between a camper and living between uh, some civilized living at your in-law's house uh, where the washer and dryer are and other such amenities and your dresser's full of clothes. And sometimes, because you're not paying attention, you gotta dig deep into your dresser full of clothes and pull out something to wear that you haven't worn in a long time. Uh, that's the case. Don't judge. This tight little number from my Navy days, that's like 13 years ago. I'm surprised I can even fit into it because I gained some weight since then. So don't judge me too harshly. Because <laughs> uh, it's all I got. It's all I got for right now. Uh, but today, we're going to do this. Um, the first thing I need to do is I'm gonna go ahead and mark out these feet turn you around so you can see what I'm talking about but first welcome to Hemlock Hills if this is your first time if it's not welcome back I appreciate having you all I said this at the end of my last video I'd like to say it at the beginning of this video because I'm genuinely interested in what y'all are doing uh, so leave a comment down below let me know what kind of projects you're working on uh, so it's not just all about me. Maybe I can learn something from you. Anywho, we're gonna to get to this project at hand. Before we do, if you're enjoying what we got going on here, consider going and hitting that subscribe button and liking this video. And uh, let me know what you think of what we got going out here on here at Hemlock Hills. Today's video, uh, we got to get these set so I can get this mill put back together so I can get back to work. So the whole point of this was to have something very firmly attached so when I drop logs or move the saw head, this doesn't shimmy around on me. Also give me a little bit of extra height for just kind of comfort reasons. In order to prevent the movement though, I need to put some screws in those holes. Uh, what I did not foresee is that I cannot get to those holes. Even if I turned it, I could get to these and I can get to the ones on the other side, but let's see, if I go down here, I could get to one, I could not get to the other. And a part of me just wants to put in the one screw and call it good. The other part of me says, don't be a dummy. You've got this thing apart, you've got the time. Do it right. So I'm gonna do it right. And what that means is, I've got a Sharpie marker, and I'm gonna trace the outline of the feet. I'm gonna get them oriented the way that I want them. I'm gonna trace the outline of the feet. I'm gonna mark where the holes are. I'm gonna unscrew the feet. I'm gonna move the bed out of the way. I'm gonna drill and screw these things, put them in place and then set the bed back on top of the, uh, the feet and then reattach everything and then level the bed. So bear with me, I'll be back once I get this done and we could talk about how to level this bed.
you get to a point like this and you kind of kind of question your decisions i uh i got two two lags in each of these end pieces that i was able to see both bolt holes and then i got one in each of the rest of these uh down here you can see right one there but then there's nothing there and the really big giant part of me says it's gonna be good enough it's gonna be good enough we can just move on you can level this thing and you can get the mill set back up and you can get back to work on it and then there's this little teeny tiny itty bitty piece of me that says if you don't do this something is gonna happen it's really gonna make you wish that you did this while it was already taken apart. You've already dropped the mill. Why risk doing that again, right? I don't know. What do you think? Go for it, put those second lags in, or just say, screw it. It's a tough decision, tough decision. I think I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble this thing and put that second lag in because just on the off chance i'm already here if anything happens i'm gonna really feel like a big dummy if i don't go ahead and take care of this all right let's do it take it apart you convinced me you convinced me to do it thanks for keeping me on track That proved to be significantly more difficult than I was planning on or had ever imagined, but it is done. And I feel better about the whole situation, so that's good. Now, hopefully I don't regret that decision some other way down the road, but this thing is fully locked in now. And uh, I think it's gonna be super duper uh, the only other thing I might consider doing before I get too far along is is uh, coming over here, maybe in a couple of these and putting like in the center, maybe in like two or three of these like wider ones on the middle and the end, putting a hole, a uh, big like three quarter inch or one inch hole in there so that I can still pound in one of those concrete stakes and uh, really just send that home and lock that in place so that won't like move anywhere at all um but i think i'm gonna go ahead and let this ride for a little bit and see how it does uh only because at this point in time if i ever want to move this thing it'll be way easier i just got to get the main uh head mill head off of the rail system and then i can just drag this wherever i want to put it and uh don't really anticipate moving it uh, until I get some kind of storage or shed built for this thing. Um, so yeah, decisions, decisions. Let me know what you think about that one too. Uh, should I uh, kind of anchor that in place with some holes and some concrete stakes through the timbers or just let it sit there and float? Um, yeah, I'd like to hear what you think about that one. So uh, anywho, it's late, like 8.20, way past the kid's bedtime. I need to get this cleaned up, go up there, and get ready to do that with the boys. So I'll be back at this tomorrow, which will only be a few short seconds for you, because you're going to time travel. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, it's been a whole work day for me, but just a couple of seconds for you there. Uh, we're back. It is miserable hot today we're under a thunderstorm warning sky's looking a little wild Let's see what happens hopefully we can get this done and get the mill head put back on here uh, before the evening is out so here's my plan of attack turn you around 
probably the most helpful piece of advice that I could give to you or that I would have gone back and given to past self is each of these rails is split. Right, so there's a section there, a section there. I think there are six foot sections, right? And there's a set of feet in the middle. Uh, and then this section here doesn't actually have feet, but this does. So uh, a shared foot there and a shared foot there. So the center foot doesn't actually do anything besides provide support. So I've actually backed both nuts as far out of the way as I possibly can to give myself as much movement, room for maneuver, geez, room for movement on these center legs. All right, so whatever I do in these corners will not be hindered by the center part. All right, so now I can actually change, right, uh, the kind of diagonals and the ups and downs of this section alone independent for the most part of these other ones uh, once I get it fairly close obviously there's going to be changes if there's drastic difference so then what I do is I take my six foot level and I just kind of start on top of the bunks so right, we all know how to read a level here I presume this side the right side here is high left side is low and I actually want the center of this to be lower anyway so I have some more room on these feet so I'm going to start off by lowering this center section and I'll do that um, what I need is level across this direction and level across this direction so once I get everything more or less level going down this way I can take and check for level across the rails they should all be comparable between the bunks and the rails right so I can already see here my right side is high left side is low and then I can take across here right and this just double checks and verifies right so actually I'm in good shape on this section out here from that corner to this corner so that'll be the last check is all the diagonals and I'll go diagonal in each direction right across each of these bunks across the rails and when I am perfectly center bubble in all diagonal directions uh, lengthwise and uh, radially across the, the bed itself then I've got a nice flat level no twist or warp uh, bed it should be perfect that's worked out well for me uh, i have not used the string trick so woodmiser actually recommends that once you get this thing level you take some strings from like the end with like a two inch block and you go all the way across to a two inch block back there and then you just measure the height across all these and make the adjustments um, Maybe I'm wrong, but this just feels like a much more precise way of doing it. But again, the thing that I found in all cases to be most helpful are those center legs. Getting those moved out of the way so that you can move the corners of each of those sections really works out the best. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started trying to level out and find a good spot for all of these feet and getting the bed where I need it to be.
is. All put back together. Really happy with the way this has turned out. I think this is gonna be, this is gonna be a good change. Good change for the mill. Uh, again, multiple reasons why I think this is gonna work out well. The operating station is now six inches higher. So this is like more like at my chest height. The eye gauge here for measurements. I'm not gonna have to bend over nearly as much to be able to sight that. That's, excuse me, that's awesome. Uh, kind of generally just get it raised up off the ground so it's not sitting in as much sawdust. I'll be able to get under here to clean a whole lot better. And the biggest reason is with all these lags in here and my, as my father-in-law called them all these extra shoes, providing extra traction, this thing really shouldn't go anywhere. And if it does kind of move, I still like to hear your thoughts, but uh, drilling a hole in like three of these and driving some of these uh, concrete form stakes into there, into the ground, you know, even if you don't go all the way in, that's gonna really just lock this into place if I did that. So, thing to consider. I don't know if it's necessary, but we'll see. Also, the other day, I think I mentioned, I kind of had a problem on the mill. This little, uh, I'll turn you around. This little black plastic phenolic piece here is held in with two screws from this direction into this post. There's four of them, two on this side, two on the other side that ride on this face. It's just a nice plastic surface. Well, the screw broke, one of the screws broke, gouged into this, uh, and then got stuck. Uh, so that was a whole thing. It took me quite a bit of time to get this all realigned and figured out. That was a whole process. I got it, and my father-in-law were just able to undo all this, push this out, and replace that guide. So now the mill is back up to 100%. Whew. Most of those things probably induced by myself. Just being new, learning, making mistakes, you know. Overall, I'm still very pleased with this mill. It's been fantastic. It's powerful. It's got the auto feed. Uh, it's got the auto up down. It's good. It's been very, very, very good for me. It's got 35 and a half inches of cut. I'm gonna save all that. I'm gonna do an equipment series probably on this next and then uh, probably one of my chainsaws and we'll just keep going down the list. Anywho, apparently there's pizza waiting for me. So it's time to go have those uh, tasty adult beverages, pizza, maybe some wings, whatever just so happens to be there. Thanks for following along. If you got an LX150 or one of these things with a mobile base and you don't have it on a concrete pad, uh, I think this is the way to go. I've seen it few other places so I'm definitely not original to this idea but uh, I think you'll find it useful if you have one to make that one of your first projects right there. Good night y'all. We'll see you next time. Adios. Sorry one more thing. Don't forget to share with me what projects you have going on and what's going on in your life. I'd like to know more about you. There's 141 of you at this time. That's a lot of people. Thank you for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. We'll see you around.